Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Expert Emerald, yay! In the last episode, we, uh, we freaking we made it to Fortree City, we had a Sudorudo, we attempted to find Dratini, but we didn't, sadly, and we uncovered the Kecleons, and now, and we made it to the gym, and now we're gonna battle this gym. So, if you're hyped, then smash that like button. We're just gonna get right into it. You already know uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Fable and Beelzebub. Because I'm assuming it's gonna be a double battle, because that's what the last two were. So let's go. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fort Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. When is the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I? Ah, I'm so scared! Alright, what you gonna have? What you gonna have? What you gonna have? Is it gonna be a double battle? It is. <laughs> what? You guys saw that, right? Did you guys see the Pidgeot's animation? He literally just did a flip. My dudes. Alright, Iron Defense with you, and then Rock Slide with you. Drill Peck? Uh, that hurts. That really, really hurts. I really wish Quick Claw popped. Okay, that's not doing nothing. Iron Defense. Oh my god, it's a crit. Why am I so unlucky? Okay. We're gonna get this rock slide. Let's get this money. It's a- Was that a crit? Oh, never mind. I guess it just did a lot of damage. Good job, Beelzebub. Oh my god, the attack rose. Iron defense. Nobody can take hits better than Beelzebub. That's another thing. Beelzebub cannot be critted. So if I heal, then I'll be fine. In theory. Well, I don't have a good enough healing item though for that. Well, yeah, I do. I just bought a bunch of hyper potions. Hell yeah. Alright, okay, that's fine. We're gonna get another iron defense up. But that's an attack boost. It missed! Sweet. How? What? How did it miss? Does that hustle ability? I want to get that Dodrio out of here, honestly, because Dodrio is doing way too much damage. Well, deals of will knock it out with a thing, so... I should kill that Pidgeot. It has attack boost. Yeah, I'm gonna Thunderbolt it. I'll Rock Slide. Oh, we got the Quick Claw Pop! And? Alright, that's alright. Fable can finish off the Pidgeot. Alright, we're Gucci fam. Good job, Beelzebub. Alright, I don't think Beelzebub will die to an attack. Okay, Fable's faster. Let's get this money! I don't know what Tropius will have. I have two Iron Defenses up, well, though, with Fable. So I can take any physical attack, as long as it doesn't crit. Look at that attack boost, bro. Rock Blast? That's actually kind of good. Oh, and it's- oh, it's both buffed and debuffed in this game. It has less accuracy, but more power. Um, that's actually pretty good, because two hits will be 60. So, three hits- so, if I, as long as I get three hits, it'll be more power than Rock Slide. I think I should get rid of Slash for that. It's pretty good. Yeah. Dope. Good for single targets, at least. For this gem battle, though, since it's a double battle, I'm gonna use Rock Slide. Alright. What do we got? Altaria. Alright, I thought that was her man in the original game. I guess not. Oh god. Alright, well. Thankfully, though, Fable cannot get hurt by an Earthquake. Because in the original game, that's what her Altaria has. It has Earthquake. And it's really freaking annoying for all electric types. I'm gonna double team. And Rock Slide. Fable can't die at this point, I don't think. Not with a double team and two iron defenses. Well, unless that Altera uses flamethrower. That's special. It's not very effective! <sighs> okay, flinch the Tropius. It's 30% chance to flinch. I did over half, that's dope. Flinch, 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 flinch! That shouldn't hurt too bad. Yeah, okay, that's good. 
Alright, definitely gonna heal up me with Fable's turn. We're keeping Fable out to set up, so that way I can easily win the rest of it. We have one double team up, right? Alright, we can rock slide to kill the other ones. Uh-oh! Okay, that's fine. I don't think the Tropius can kill Beelzebub either. And that should kill both of them. Yes, 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 so I didn't get a min roll. Who the hell Terry was scary? Let's get this money! Good job, Beelzebub! Beelzebub's putting the work. That's- I'm so surprised. I'm so glad I decided to use this thing. Cause like, I've never once used an Armado before. Ever. That's crazy. Alright. Do you just want to level 61? Ooh. Endeavor. I don't really need it. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Two more. Dragonite? It's my favorite dragon type. That's her main. No, it isn't. Swallow is her main. Swallow is her main. Okay. We have one double team. I'm gonna Thunderbolt the Swallow, and I'm going to switch out Beelzebub with Aloysius. Aloysius has more defense than, than Beelzebub, right? 127, 126. 27, 1, Yeah, yeah, by... Wait. 127, 152. Uh, so Aloysius... Okay, well, Dragonite, they both have to be physical attackers. So yeah, Aloysius has more. Alright, I'm gonna switch back out to Aloysius then. Alright, later, Beals above. You did great work. Oh god, it has double team. Bro. Come on, Fable. Yeah, Fable! Okay. Can you one shot? There's no way. Oh, it's a crit. That, that probably mattered, honestly. That probably mattered. Good job, Fable. Okay. Okay, doing work, doing work. Earthquake? Let's go, Fable with Levitate. I love that crap. Alright, Aloysius just can easily take an Earthquake. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Oh my god, eating it up! Yo, you're not real. Thunder. Uh, We'll confuse Riot. Oh, what a shame. Alright, come on now. It's basically over at this point. That was a crit. Confuse Ray. Aloysius just puts in work. It's very stally, but... It puts in work. What can I say? It has a Lumberry. Damn. Alright. Guess I'll do it again. Thunder. Confuse Ray. Bam. Let's get this damage. Paralysis. Oh, let's get this money. Earthquake. I mean, you're not doing anything, Dragonite. Not even a crit will kill Aloysius. Let's go. Confuse Ray. That's Parafusion. And then Thunderbolt and uh, Rock Slide. All right, that's game. Not too shabs, not too shabs. Definitely, uh, definitely could have been rough though if I didn't use good strategy. All right, and we were honestly pretty on par. I mean, her main was level sixty, so. Whew! Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present you with this gym badge. Yo, get that Shang Shang Kim Fado here. Kalisha received the feather badge from Winona. Hell yeah. With the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. Aerial Ace? Yeah. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Hello. She just put a number in my nab no matter what. Though I fell to you, I will remain devoted to bird Pokemon. Got you, fam. Bird Pokemon are lit, and I love the fact that you have a Dragonite. I, I've changed my mind about cheating for the Dratini. I just, I don't need to. Hi, Eklisha, it's me. Just as I thought, you wanted the Fortree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering on the sidelines. Keep up the road work. Got you, fam. Alright, so now... We do have a flyer, right? 
Oh my god, nobody can fly. What? Alright, I'm gonna- I might have to take a Pokemon from my PC to fly. None of these can fly. I'm gonna have to take Din Din. Because I have to fly to a few places. I'm gonna get rid of you. I don't really want you. Let's see here. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just leave you there for now. So there is a few places I want to go fly real quick. <laughs> Better save our game now that we did it. Uh, to find your bars. All right, I gotta teach Din Din fly. I'm just gonna round this dead Pokemon. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, very cool on Aerial Ace. You know, besides Din Din, it's 85. They buffed it. It's physical. That wouldn't be too bad on Beelzebub, honestly. But Beelzebub's already got a pretty decent move set. I don't know, I'll have to- I might want to teach that to f I better not say it yet, I'm not gonna spoil it, because there is something I want to cheat for. Alright, fly. Alright, Din Din. Yo, I miss Din Din. Din Din was lit. <laughs> it really, really was. I'm telling you man, this round act's too difficult, you gotta over level. Alright, fly- Let's go to... What? Really? Alright, well what I really want to do is I want to fly to Slateport and I want to buy Hidden Power. I don't care about this. Nope, don't care. Do, do, do. What do you got? Nope, don't care. Here we go. This is secret power. I'll buy one. And this is hidden power. I'll buy th three. Alright, dope. That's what I wanted. That's the first thing I wanted. We're basically just gonna fly around the region, get what I want to get, and then we'll end off the episode. By now. Alright. Next. We have to go to the Pokedex real quick. In order to find a specific Pokemon that I really want to get. And I'm getting it no matter what. So shut the hell up. I don't care. It's the These ROM hacks are the only games where I can possibly use my second favorite po Pokemon in a playthrough. Because it's a really bad Pokemon. But it's the only games when I can use Farfetch'd. Okay, so they're up. Are they just chilling in the grass? I hope they're not rare encounter. That would suck. I'm gonna look for this. You don't think I will? Right here? This is it. Alright, I'm gonna look for it then. I'm gonna catch a Farfetch'd. That's the last thing I do. I don't want you. Come on, give it to me. I want this Farfetch'd. I do not care. I want this Farfetch'd. That's a Roselia. Not a Farfetch'd. Come on, come on, come on. Please give it to me. Come on. You know you want to show up. I want this freaking farm to not do If I would have known that I could have gotten this earlier, I would have. I really, really would have. But, like, it's... Rom hacks like these, I can't help it. Like, because... Even in Rom hacks like Glazed, I can't use Farfetch'd because, like, it's the same stats as they usually have. When in a ROM hack like this, where they improve how the Pokemon work, is different. Also, I just found a Rare Candy, that was dope. Uh, 
They always make Farfetch so dope in these games. And like, I, I need Farfetch so bad. Like in Blaze Black, he's flying fighting, and he's like, the definition of a glass cannon, it's so, he dies in every single hit no matter what, but he also kills everything super fast, it's awesome. And he gets like close combat and stuff like that, Brick Break, it's dope. Give me Farfetch'd! I am so mad right now. I'm going to find this Farfetch, like, I don't even care if we're here for this entire episode. Like, I really don't. It's a not to. Bro. But this episode, we already had the gym battle, so I'm okay with letting this the rest of this episode be a little bit of stall. I'm fine with it. I don't care. And then off screen, I'm gonna grind this farfetch up, and I'm gonna replace it. And I'm gonna put it on my team and replace it with Sceptile, because I need a flyer. Come on. So I recently posted a video uh, about me theorizing about the next remakes, and I was theorizing about how they might be making Kanto remakes instead of Sinnoh remakes next, and uh, I did actually get some feedback, like uh, a few comments, telling me some counter-arguments, uh, and I agree with all those counter-arguments, and I've said I said in the video already, but I really want it to be a Sinnoh remake. I'd much rather it be a Sinnoh remake than a uh, Kanto remake. However, uh, I just think Kanto remakes make much more sense, especially with like the whole Alola forms. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Dude, come on. I know Farfish is here. He's just a rare encounter. I'll look for the rest of this episode. I really do not care. I'll look for five more minutes, and then I'll stop, and I'll find it off-screen. <laughs> because I need this Farfetch. Like, the Dratini... Whatever. But Farfetch... Because Dragonite's good in every game, no matter what. I love Dragonite, but... Come on now. It's a Dragonite. It's good in every game. But Farfetch'd? Farfetch'd is like a rare occurrence. You can never use Farfetch'd in a regular game. It, you just never can, because it's just so bad. It, it gets a great moveset, it just has terrible stats. But I love Farfetch'd. It's an Ekans! I've never seen that before. I'm gonna know right now, I've never seen that here. Intimidate. Alright, hold up. Let me get this bike. Come on! Come on! Let's get this money! Come on! Please give me the far-fetched! I just want the far-fetched! I will look to the end of time if I have to. But no, when it comes to the Alola forms and all that, uh, it just makes so much sense. And then Lily's all like, oh, I'm gonna move to Kanto, mother trucker. And it's like, bro. Or like, what if like, yeah, yeah. Yo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't freaking know, man. I just want... I just want a thing. Maybe the, maybe the new Cancer remake would either be a remake of Yellow, or it would be, uh... Or maybe be a more, like, futuristic, like, remake. Like, it's not like... Like, it would be a completely different game, almost. It'd be like... Like, the story would be different and all that. But like they said, they still have the same gyms, but it's like and all that. But it's like it's like in the future, and like you have a different protagonist than Red. And then yo, and then what if the champion instead of instead of your rival is freaking Red, 
bro. That'd be dope. Yo. That'd be wild. I'm just theorizing right now. This will never happen, but could you imagine? But trust me, I, I'd much rather have a Sinnoh remake. I love the Sinnoh game so much, and I still do to this day. This freaking Farfetch will not show up. That's a freaking Roselia. I'm running out of time. I can't be doing this. But I know that Farfetch is here. It just has to be a, ra a random encounter. It's just, it's here. It's just rare. That's it. It's just rare. Come on. Come on. I know it's here! Please! I'm actually gonna cry. I'm actually going to cry. Dude. Dude. I know Farfish is here. It says it on the thing. I know Farfish is here. I know it. I know it to be true. I know that it's here. There's Rosalia's, but there's no freaking thing in McDoodle. Please. 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 <sighs> I'll stay for the rest of the episode. I don't care. The frick is this far pitched? This must be the rarest of encounters ever. Because this thing will not show up. It really won't. Dude. This is ridiculous. I'm so salty. I am actually so salty right now. You know, I said I'd give up at this point. I'm, I'm just gonna keep on going. <sighs> I know I shouldn't. Alright, fine. I'm gonna end off the episode then. In the next episode, I will have a Farfetch'd on my team. <laughs> It'll be grinded up. I don't care. I'll find it. I promise you all, I will find it. Anyway, everybody, that's gonna be it for this episode of Pokemon X Brand Mode. If you guys like this video, make sure you have a like. If you just like this video, make sure you have a dislike, because I like opinions. Subscribe now if you want to become a later man on the Later Manor Express today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the content that I produce. Well, anyway, everybody, later manners! Okay, no joke. I legitimately found this thing the first try. I'm not even joking. First encounter after I ended the episode. I was just like, what if I just found it right now? And I did. I'm not even joking. That's so freaking stupid. I don't care. I still found it. We're gonna catch this crap. Uh. Oh, frick. I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, you think I can catch it with just Pokeballs? Probably not. Because Farfish is God after all. Damn it. Fury attack. Yo, that's power. That's power. There's no way they'd make it this rare of an encounter if it wasn't God. Alright, I'm gonna use my dead Den Den. I don't even care. I'm already breaking the rules by catching this Farfetch, so whatever. Okay. Okay. Gust! Wait. Okay, I thought it'd be a fighting type. Whew. Oh my god, it was a crit. Good job, Din Din. Catch this crap. Damn it! I'm not killing this thing. I'm leaving it at this HP. Ultra Ball!
What? Wait, I have a nest ball, right? Wait, I got a plan. Switch back into Fable. So it's not a fighting type in this game, sadly. Yeah, I wish I could play Blaze Black to my channel. That'd be awesome, but it lags too much on my computer. Sadly. Alright. Nest Ball! It's so much weaker. It's level 16, my dude. Come on! It's at low as hell HP. No, if I run out of Pokeballs, I'm actually going to scream. I would have been done. I would have actually been done. The Wild Duck Pokemon. It is always seen with a stick from a plant. Apparently, there is a there are good sticks and bad sticks. This Pokemon occasionally fights with others over choice sticks. What? <laughs> yes, I have a specific name for Farfetch'd. I always call them Ignacio. I made up the nickname. I don't know what it's from. It just sounds cool. Ignacio. Alright, let's go check it out. Don't run into any mons, please. Just somehow don't run into any mons. Ah! Now watch me run into another one. We gotta check out the Farfetch. You know we do. You know we do. I don't care if this episode's long. I seriously cannot believe there was one encounter after. That's so ridiculous. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's check it out. Yes! Dope. I'm sure they must have changed Farfish in this game, right? Right! I don't know, man. Alright, it's 33 attack. Let's test it, let's test it. What's my Pidgeot, Pidgeotto's attack? 33. Um... I don't know, that's scary. I'm gonna grind this up though. I probably will use it. I'm gonna look up if it's good in this game though. Anyway, uh, later manners. Bye guys.